Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at noon. Flurry's making its way down, and many areas are already covered, including outside of our own studio. Let's check in with meteorologist Lisa Green. Good afternoon. We do have a first alert weather day in effect for today with the snow coming down. We're not used to this yet. It makes it difficult to drive when it's hard to see in front of you. And those roads being reported as slick in some spots. Temperatures have been close to freezing. So in some areas, we've had some accumulation on the road surfaces and other places where it's melted a little bit more. Uh, so it really depends on where you are. And if you are traveling, I would just treat every stretch of road as being slick, just in case. Here's a look at the latest radar. You can see we've got a lot of blue over the Red River Valley. And then there's some more to the west, too, a little more scattered there. But that's all going to be working its way through as we advance through the day today. Zooming in a little bit more, where you see those darker blue pockets, that's where we're looking at a little more moderate to heavier snowfall. Oaks area down toward Edgeley. The stretches up into Cass County too, seeing some areas of heavier snow coming down uh, at this point in time. So that's going to accumulate on those colder surfaces and maybe for some of us on those roadways as well. I've seen some DOT camps where we do have snow on the roads and we're going to take a look at that road conditions map coming up in a few minutes. But this will continue to work its way through. It's bringing down our visibility. We're at a half mile in many spots. Wheaton is at zero for visibility right now. So uh, we are talking uh, some really tough travel uh, anywhere you happen to be where that snow is falling thanks to the wind and it's a heavy snowfall too you know we've got some big flakes associated with that that'll block your view as well winter weather advisory remains in effect until seven o'clock tonight some areas Grassy surfaces especially could see that three to five inch range in there. Not everybody will get that amount, but the potential's there. And those winds, they're going to be a problem for us this afternoon. So I'm going to go through all of this in your hour by hour planner. We'll take a look at any additional snowfall we'll see. And we'll look ahead to that next event, a bigger storm system on Thursday. All coming up in a few minutes. If you plan on being on the roadways, also be extra careful as well. Thanks again, Lisa. Well, staying on the topic of weather, it only takes a dusting of snow to make your drive to or from work a dangerous one. We saw it just last week with dozens of crashes in the area and more of that is expected. According to the North Dakota Department of Transportation, before you leave one place to head to the other, let someone know where you're going. Your extra route and expected arrival time. If something happens to you, your someone will know where to find you. Make sure to have a full tank of gas. Turn on your light so you and those around you can see. Make sure to have those tail lights and brake lights cleaned off. Slow down and don't press hard on your brakes. Now that will only cause you to continue sliding. You want to also have a winter survival kit in your vehicles as well. This includes warm clothing, shoes or boots, a shovel and food. If your vehicle does get stuck, do not panic. Stay with your vehicle at all times. Leaving your vehicle is when the situation turns deadly. Also remember that phone charger. Your cell phone doesn't do any good if it runs out of battery. The Bemidji Police Department are asking for the public's help in locating a missing teen. 15-year-old Kendall Thompson was last seen at the Oski Mandino Youth Center on Monday morning. Thompson is described as 6'1 and 310 pounds with brown hair and eyes. The teen was wearing a black sweatshirt with red lettering and Nike flip-flops. They say that Thompson may be trying to get to the Detroit Lakes area. No photo was provided. One person is dead after a fiery rollover crash near New Rockford. According to the State Highway Patrol, the only vehicle involved in the crash rolled and then went up in flames, killing the driver. The crash happened south of New Rockford on County Road 14 last night. The car was traveling north and went onto the ditch in both sides of the road before vaulting over an approach. That's when the Jeep started on fire. The identity of the victim has not been released. The driver was not wearing a seatbelt. A semi-driver is facing a citation after he didn't stop for a train, causing a crash near Valley City. It happened last Thursday around 4.25 p.m. Bruce Dodd was driving a semi with a trailer across train tracks while a train was coming. Authorities said Dodd tried to beat the train across the tracks but was unsuccessful. No one was seriously hurt in the crash, but Dodd was given a citation for failure to yield. An investigation is underway after a reported overdose in West Fargo. Officials say it happened around 4.50 yesterday evening when emergency crews responded to a call of a possible overdose on the 700 block of West Main in West Fargo. Upon arrival, officers, firefighters and paramedics re 
consult, excuse me, uh, fix the situation with two individuals with the use of Narcon. Their condition is unknown. Cass County investigators are asking for help in identifying those responsible for three residential burglaries. They took place between October 14th and 15th on Lost River Road and Horse. It appears that one of the burglars has a significant cut to one or both of their hands and may have been traveling on a bicycle. If you have any information, call Detective Greg Smith. His number can be found on the bottom of your screen. Fargo is now officially under a mask mandate. It went into effect late Monday afternoon after being announced by Mayor Tim Mahoney. Every person in the city of Fargo must now wear a face covering over their mouth, nose, while indoors, where you may come into contact with people outside of your household. and You cannot stay six feet apart. This includes bars, restaurants, and businesses in Fargo. You must also wear a mask outdoors where social distancing isn't possible. Despite the mayor ma mask mandate, there is no penalty for those not following it. At least two commissioners are saying more needs to be done. I'm thinking we probably are at the point where we need to put some enforcement tied with it. If, if this doesn't satisfy the need in the community, we have to be prepared to inf put enforcement in. The mandate will remain into effect until lifted by the mayor or changed or terminated by a majority of city commissioners. West Fargo leaders are also looking into the idea of a mask mandate. A committee is expected to come with a proposal that could be considered at a special commission meeting later this week. Well, coming up at noon, we take a look at a new treatment that's designed to keep COVID patients out of the hospital. And look at those flurries making an appearance on this Tuesday. Lisa Green has your full look at weather.